the Russian Empire is strong. Our economy grows. Our prestige is very good. Yet our industry still lacks behind. Um, welcome back, everybody. I hope you're all doing well. And uh, we are still rebuilding our army. Well, not rebuilding, but uh, restructuring our army a bit. If you guys have been enjoying the campaign up to this point, please do share your support by uh, leaving a like on the video. It really does help me out a lot more than you might know. And uh, leave a comment down below. Let me know uh, sort of things that I can be doing differently. There's a big difference between giving advice and uh, aggressively, very aggressively backseat gaming. <laughs> I appreciate all you guys. And I hope you're all doing well, though. We are going to be... Let's see here. Where are my rally points? New... Um. Okay. So we are currently not building... We are encouraging intellectuals. We definitely need to be doing that. I don't know if we need to be encouraging capitalists, though. I'm going to go with intellectuals here as well. Our literacy is so trash. We really need to get that up if we want to be doing anything. We're working on empiricism, which is really good, though. So here we need two more artillery and a hussar. So let's get two more artillery in Europe and a hussar. And then we will get that. North German, though. Mm, actually don't know about a North German Hussar. That may be something I come to regret. Oh, wait. They're, okay, so it looks like... We actually had those guys queued up already. So let's get those guys ready to roll. Oh, it was actually five, five cannons there. Okay. Derp, derp, derp. Anyways, let us play this out a little bit. Unpause. I don't care about Guatemala. So the goal for today is going to be to continue to industrialize Russia. Um, you know, that's kind of the, the main gist of what we need to be doing right now. I'm not really too worried about what's going on in other places of the world, but I do need to keep an eye on my sphere. You can see the Ottomans over here have uh, fallen out of grace from the great power list. We are likely to be the ones to get them sphered. We are cordial. And uh, I was told if we can get them to be hostile towards Britain. Oh, man, I'm used to the hotkeys from EU4. If we can get them hostile towards Britain, we can actually get them to uh, ally us organically, which would be pretty good through event. That might be uh, fake news, but I'm not entirely sure. So we're going to go with it. Do wish the days went by a little quicker in this game. I will say that. <laughs> there we go. We could land up to 214 regiments. That is kind of insane. We're going to go with railroad. We need to continue to upgrade our um, economy here. And uh, we got some Jacobins. Let's have you guys suppress. Yep, 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 yep. Have you guys over here suppress as well. Very good. They're all little three stacks. The Jacobins are annoying. Those dang republics, Republican nationalists, or whatever you would even call the Jacobins. Oh my gosh, so many events popping up. There we go. I think that's all of them. I wish you could zoom out a little bit more and still see the units. I won't. The POV in this game is definitely not the best. Uh, glory for the Russian Empire. Manchu's expelled from Outer Manchuria. Oh wow. Or strata changes the population by a lot. Uh, maybe a lot. We'll see. Immigrant attraction. Whew. Hopefully we don't have any um, revolts over here in Manchuria. We may need to send an army over there. So let's do that. Let's have you guys head over. Here. We have an 18 stack over here. Man, our nation is so big. I don't even. And also somebody told me that I left a stack in Germany. Ah, I missed it. Thank you, commenter. Anonymous commenter. You're wonderful. I totally did forget a uh, stack over there. That's a decent stack, too. Some artillery. Let's have them head over here to um, Allenstein. Allenstein. And, uh, oh my gosh. Middle mouse button is acting up. Let's get you guys over to Manchuria. A 30 stack is probably plenty. Let's have them come over here. No attrition or anything like that. They can suppress rebels if the Manchurians were to decide to rebel there's literally like 650 people up here with a revolt risk if i get rebels over there i will be very upset 
Okay, so these guys here are set. These guys are all infantry. Ugh. All right, let's have you guys come over here then. We definitely need to be um, getting this stuff sorted out. Our industrial score is going up, which is nice. Once we get the next railroads, apparently railroads are much more important than I was giving them credit for. So cheers to the, uh, the people in the comments letting me know that I am a newbie to this game. So I appreciate the feedback. Not necessarily the ones who are like, bro, I can't believe you did this. I have like 50 hours in the game, so you can't expect me to know what I'm doing. <laughs> Ashkenazi. Ukrainian, uh, Lithuanian, Belarusian. Okay, and then let's go with a Hussar. Polish is fine, I suppose. Get you there. Mecklenburg wants access. That's fine. I don't, I don't care one way or the other. Tensions dissipate. Very good. Take a sip of my coffee here. Very good. Very good. What is this picture right here? Why is there a woman dancing in a dress? Immoral business, huh? Ooh. Rotten burrows. Oh, is that like the modifiers? Okay. That makes sense, actually. Russia's color on the map is nice. Pleasant. A pleasant green. Maybe since we have here... Well, we don't have the naval tech to upgrade our ports, but we should do that sooner or later. Nice. Luxury clothes factories. Not bad. Let's uh, build this regular clothes factory as well. The Ottomans can now be sphered. How about that? Hey, look at that. Look at our sphere of influence. We're surrounding Europe. It's awesome. We could probably get Wallachia here. They are a satellite state of the Ottomans, so not likely, actually. Serbia, I don't care too much about. Sardinia, Piedmont, well on their way to uniting the Italians. Looks like they actually beat Austria. And uh, it really looks like Prussia is having a failure to launch this time. I think, um, you know, all the uh, whining and complaining about that Prussia war, which was not the best, I admit. But all that whining aside, I think that we single-handedly nerfed the uh, Prussians. Prussians. Uh, I'm gonna go over here as well. We definitely need to get our mill tech up, but uh, we're gonna do that soon. We're getting more points as well. Uh, so let's do this, get a little bit of carpal tunnel and upgrade our uh, railroads. We have the money. So investing this in the long term is going to be the best case scenario. I'm not gonna put too much money into the Ottomans. Best Arabia is Russian, of course. I don't want to um, help them out and then have them break free because I don't know. A lot of events in this game are railroaded and I don't know what they are. And I would be very upset if we were to do that and uh, you know, then lose them to some stupid event that I was unaware of. So we're just not going to. If there are any like major events, I know like the Crimean War is one. And obviously being allied to the Ottomans or rival or sphere to, sphering the Ottomans is increasing our opinion a lot. So maybe the Crimean War won't even happen. That would be, you know, really good for us. What? Get out of here. We have these like Siberian armies that I didn't even know were out there because I haven't looked. Maybe I should look, right? <laughs> Let's expand this infrastructure over here. I think that's it. Looks good. So this 30 stack is heading over here to Manchuria. Do we have another army that I'm not aware of? I don't think so. I think we're good. Okay. Very good. Let's um, upgrade all you guys. And let's upgrade our factories. Looks like we finally got our bottling works up to level two. The reason why I put these guys as a um, high priority is because bottling works will make you lots of money. And I like money. Prussia wants mill access. Sure, dude. What is this? Supply limit? The supply limit is good in Russia. Probably just because it's friendly territory, if I had to guess. The sound dues, huh? Gain prestige, give money.
Yeah, it's it's fine. We have plenty of money to spare. We are very wealthy. And uh, as we continue to raise our, um, let's turn this down a bit as well. And we can turn our tariffs down to like 5%. As long as we're still making money, not taxing the capitalists as much is going to be really helpful because it'll allow them to, you know, start projects and invest more into projects. Our industry has gone up five since I just looked last. So we are certainly uh, making good progress here. So yeah, let's get you guys here. This 30 stack is good. So let's have them head down to like Sevastopol. And then let's get started on the next one. And I'm sure there's an easier way to do this. There you go. There's the rest of that stack there. And I'm just going to get all my stacks up to level 3 if at all possible. Let's get another Hussar. And I think they need... Okay. Two more cannons. Let's have you guys head over here, I believe. get these stacks all sorted out and then we need two more cannons as well artillery i keep calling them cannons you guys know what i mean though but uh, yes i really do hope you guys have been enjoying this campaign as much as i have been our intellectuals are basically maxed out here so let's um scoot on down and and keep uh working on intellectuals at least for a bit obviously as we move farther down the list our Populations are, you know, not even close to it, what they were, but um, this is good. We just really need to continue to boost our plurality as well as um, more intellectuals is going to increase our base game. An alliance offer from Bavaria. It's going to be a no from me. I bet they're a great power, though. No, not quite. Interesting. Let's increase our relations with the Ottomans. I would like to keep them as uh, loyal as possible towards us for the longest period of time. Mechanize output and let's upgrade railroads one more time. And then I will, oh, maybe we'll focus on this as well, but then we're going to focus on the military. I know, I know my military is weak. I know, <laughs> I know. I'm right now I'm trying to get our nation as industrialized as quickly as possible. That will allow us to be able to focus more on military, right? We have the strongest, like the second strongest military in the world right now. So we're good. I don't need an alliance from Hanover. I think we'll pass on that. But uh, I would say we're doing okay. I don't have that many hours in the game. So I really don't know exactly what I'm doing. So I don't know if these guys will be able to make it there without taking attrition and dying. But uh, we'll see what we can do here. These guys are taking attrition while in port. Right, we should probably get a clipper factory here, huh? Right, we, um... The Slavophiles are in charge. We have interventionalism, so... If we lose this navy, it's not like... It's not a big deal. Oh, they made it. Well, hey, welcome back. Oldenburg. It's a no from me, friends. Peace is restored. Actually, boosting up all of our, um... The Ottomans want an alliance? I will ally the Ottomans. Hopefully they don't call me into a war against, like, Britain or anything like that. That may actually be dangerous. I may end up regretting that, but we'll see. Fruit production, grain production, tea production. All good stuff. Our, increasing our RGOs is gonna be just ace for the long term. A percentage of intellectuals is going up quite quickly. And then I'm going to start working on craftsmen. I was told that I want to get my literacy up to 50%, but as Russia, I really don't think it's possible. I won't lie. I don't know the optimal strategy for it, but... Um... Okay. Don't think I got all the cannons. Oh, I did get all the cannons. Very good. So these guys here... This 30 stack can come over, like, into the steps. Hopefully we don't forget about them. You guys do not need to be a rally point anymore. 
Instead, we'll set one here and we will do the same thing. Let's go with uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then one, two. And I'm trying to get it from provinces that are... Uh, I don't know, actually, if Belarusian or Ukrainian are accepted cultures. I don't remember exactly where to check that. Here we go. So our accepted cultures are Belarusian, Ukrainian, Ugarian, and Alaskan, and Russian is obviously our primary culture. So ideally, we're recruiting from them. That way, if we have uprisings, they're less likely to join the uprisings. Coffee time. All right. Wool production, fabric production, throughput. Very good. Our industrial score is going up quickly. This is awesome. We're very quickly rising. We will um, hopefully soon overtake the US. Am I allied to the US? Yeah, I do not need to be allied to the US. I don't know why I allied them, to be honest with you. I think they offered me an alliance. I was like, yeah, sure. Sounds good, man. UK, I think we will improve our relations with them. Max railroad level again. Very good. I will do biologism and then we will get because we need more education efficiency and then we will switch over and we will just start pounding out um, our uh, whatchamacallit army techs because we have plenty of time the uh, the commies have not spawned yet that I'm aware of yeah oh they have the uh, those are capitalists We're, or um, what, what is the word I'm looking for Socialists. We're not socialists, we're communists. We will be at least. It's weird how many comments I got complaining about going communist as Russia as well. I'm sure none of those people are still watching. But it's just like people were literally like episode one like <laughs> boring, so overdone. Why you gotta play commie Russia? Like, bro, just play what I want you to play. It's like Okay, guys. <laughs> Shogunate of Japan, huh? I don't care about this. So it looks like it's just going to very slowly finish these guys because I'm pretty sure they have to... The Trans-Siberian Railway, huh? Italy wants an alliance. I may do that. A railway linking St. Petersburg with Vladivostok will allow us to advance the colonization of the Russian Far East and ensure our control over the riches of Siberia. Well, yes, of course. That's awesome. Cool. Just click a button and get a bunch of railroads. Sounds good. I want to continue to upgrade these guys, so we're going to. I don't know. What's your situation looking like? So they're number seven. Japan is number six, but Japan is not going to do anything for me. Like, I'm not going to go to war with China anytime soon. I think I would, I'll ally Italy. They make sense as an ally if they were, if we were to go to war with Austria, which they have some, um, I don't know if it's whores what's the word where is this diplomatic map mode yeah they have a couple of cores here claims here the republic of san marino huh where is san marino i was thinking san marino was down like i think it's like in here right like in this area maybe i'm wrong i don't know admittedly i'm not the best with geography So our industrial score has gone up by almost 50% and our um, literacy has gone up quite a bit as well. Ideally, I'm going to get these guys all up to 4%. Alrighty then. So let's go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1. Get you guys over here. That will make this stack a clean 30 stack. Get you guys over here. And let's get another two stack set up as well. Uh, let's go with Ukrainian, Ukrainian, Russian, Ukrainian, 10. I believe that was 10. I may have miscounted, but it's all good. And we'll just separate them out as, as uh, we go along. And uh, let's continue uh, building railroads, increasing our throughput or our RGO output. So essentially think of this as we're making investments back into our country. We have 1.3 million pounds to spare. So, you know, there's absolutely nothing wrong with spending a bit of money. Um, 
Potato blight. Mm. I don't want to lose the prestige, but... Losing pops is not in my, uh... Not on my list, high on my list of priorities. So our railroads are going to be some of the best in the world. As long as we can get these going on, man. North German rebels. Hopefully there's not too big. Nope. Very small number of rebels. Very good. Let's, um... Yeah, this is good, actually. Let's turn our tariffs down. Turning your tariffs down is good uh, because it allows your uh, capitalists to have money to spend. Basically, what tariffs do is it makes it so your ca capitalists have to pay to import goods. So it's extracting more money from your pops. At least that's my understanding of how it works. If I'm wrong, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. But that's my understanding of it. Ooh. Ooh, St. Petersburg, you're a lady. Very good. That's a good, a good number of prestige points there. I will gladly take that. So we're just going to keep on speeding through this, building up our infrastructure. Oh, baby. And we're still getting our intellectuals. Trans-Siberian Railway progress must be made, of course. Yes. So, yes, after we get this coal production, very good. One of our generals is dead. The Alaskan Purchase. I'm okay with this. The, the prestige is nice. I, I, Alaska means nothing to me. It really means nothing to me. So that may not be the optimal strategy, but I'm, I'm going to do it. And our intellectuals are almost maxed out over here. So let's start working on some craftsmen in a couple of our more industrialized areas. I don't... Uh, let me see here. Production. So boost you up. Ooh, machine parts. Machine parts is great. So we have a couple over here in Ospoisen. Uh Let's go with Kharkov. Okay, so let's, I can actually do it from this screen, which is very good quality of life. Let's get you guys here. Craftsman instead of perm. And then Moscow is here. Looks like we have plenty over here. So I'm just trying to look at the ones that I think are going to be the most important in the long term. I probably should switch back to uh, state capitalism at some point, but that's okay. Let's... Yeah, we're already doing it in Moscow. It's good. Let's get them here as well. And then... Karelia, Samara, Smolensk. Tver, I guess. We'll go with Tver. That's fine. We just don't need any more intellectual encouragement. I, It's a bummer, because it's just like... I feel like... We're really struggling with getting our literacy up, which is going to stifle our growth in the long term. Ooh, nice. Moscow and Ural are both getting machine parts factories, which is great. Machine part factories are really strong. It's going to allow us to essentially what we can do is we can produce so much that the rest of the world has to buy it from us. Italy wants an alliance again. Did Italy break alliance with me before? Ooh. Yo, what's going on? Are those rebels? Roman nationalists, huh? That's cool. All right, let us boost up our dang army. Jeez, oh, Pete. Let's go with... Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. We should get tech pretty quick early on because there's... um. Obviously, when it's so super low like it is, you're going to gain it quickly. Our industrial score is explosively growing. National... Oh, war exhaustion. Very good. <laughs> Our industrial score was 19 when we started. We're still only 17 in the world, so looks like everybody else is also scaling up quite quickly as well. Ooh, yeah, the U.S. is absolutely taken off. Let us make sure that we're not um, taking a bunch of attrition here. That is 
for literally no reason. Here you go. Take you guys over here. Take you guys here. And you guys here. And you guys here. And I think that's it. I think that's our army there. Get you guys over here. And we're just going to keep all of our armies kind of on the Prussian border. Oopsies. Let's have you guys grouped up. Have you guys grouped up. We want to keep most of our guys here on the Prussian border. That's going to be the most likely flashpoint, especially if somebody were to support, uh, like, first, say, Poland, for example, for independence. Ooh, nice. A place in the sun. Almost see our splendor. Look at that. Give prestige, please. Consciousness and non-colonial. Oh, no. So we have a nine stack here that is actually part of that group there. So all of our armies... The exception of this one are correct. Uh, we have too many cannons. Which obviously isn't an issue. It's just not uh, not ideal. And that means all of our armies are correct. 30 stacks. Beautiful. And now we can just build more. You know? So let's set our rally point here. And let's go with... One, two, three, four cannons. One, two, three, four, five infantry and a hussar. We don't have guards yet. Once we unlock them, we'll start switching them out or rather building our new stacks with them. But uh, I think that's a good place to call it. It's already at the wrapping up point. So we uh, built up our army. Ooh, we have rebels in the Ottoman Empire, huh? Hejazi nationalists. I don't care about them. As long as they don't break free from my sphere, that's all I care about. So we we sphered the Ottomans today. We boosted our industrial score quite a bit. We jumped all the way up to 13 in the world. So it's really good. We were at 19 when we started today. So uh, very good growth. And uh, we are modernizing our army. We are the number three military in the world. 190 mil points. Pretty good. We're up there with France and the UK almost. So I'm fairly confident about this. Uh, we may end up attacking Prussia again. Lots of pops over here and some decent um decent land maybe it would be in our bed hmm just like some iron and some coal over here we'll see we will see if you guys are enjoying though please do make sure that you show your support by leaving a like on the video it really does help out subscribe if you have not already and if you want to see what's going on over on the discord it's going to be linked in the description below cool active community over there and uh if you have it within your means and you want to support me on patreon that is going to be linked in the description below the video uh, Patreon support is huge. It really is what allows me to do what I do, and I couldn't do it without you guys. I hope you all have a wonderful day. This is Chewy Shoot, and I'll talk to you guys later. A huge special thanks to my top July patrons, Junk Binary, Mr. McFlu, Angelic, Bouncer Steve, Sprocket, Fat Man on Deck, Jay Eden, Jay Clampett, Jay Kapchinski, M. Dressel, R. Lawrence, R. Ep, J. Baller, Lon Damon, Draco R. Havis, Orbit, Jankopotamus, P. Jarden, A. Vickman, Arkenglad, Harry, A. Murado, Dick Cutchell, and Winkler, R. J. Pilant, and many more. I appreciate you guys very much.